Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today's restaurant was suggested by a viewer and it's in Mililani Malka and it's called Rise and Shine Cafe. And um, they specialize in breakfasts. They open really early and close early, I believe at 1 p.m. So only breakfast items, but um, everything really looked good on the pictures on the internet. So I got um, three different dishes just to show you a little bit of their menu and different things. So we'll start off with something simple and healthy. I always like yogurt with granola. So this is a beautiful um, yogurt, granola, and fruit bowl. So just be sure to ask for uh, utensils again when you take out, because they didn't give any, because I forgot again to ask. Good thing I have lots of utensils in my car. So we'll take a taste of this. I don't have a spoon, so I only have a fork. Really delicious looking granola with some very fresh fruit. Mm. I absolutely love vanilla yogurt and this is really good. It almost tastes like my favorite brand, which is um, Brown Cow. And the granola is really yummy, uh, sweet with, uh, I don't know, like caramelized sugar or honey. And the dried fruit in there, it looks like uh, dried cranberries and dried blueberries, really good. Here's a dried um, blueberry or cranberry or some kind of fruit. It's all in the granola, which gives it a nice different texture uh, contrast with the crunchy, the creaminess of the yogurt, and then that extra chewiness of the dried fruit. Really delicious. Here's a big chunk of strawberry, nice and fresh. Dip it in the yogurt. Mmm, nice and sweet natural sweetness of the strawberry they're not sour blueberries look very fresh none of them are um, smashed or dinged or moldy or funny looking very fresh fruit also got some banana here and some papaya which you don't sometimes see in a granola bowl type of thing mm. bananas are super sweet delicious Okay, let's try this papaya. I will admit I'm not really a big fan of papaya. Don't really like the texture, um, but everything so far, the fruits are all sweet. They're not sour or tart. And I'm sure it'll be really good with this uh, granola and yogurt mixture. It is super sweet and it actually goes really well with the yogurt and the granola. I guess I just don't like papaya because it's so mushy and it is, but with the crunch of the granola, everything really goes well together. So this is a winner. I am definitely enjoying this and this would be a great um, on the go light breakfast if you're looking for that. And I really like the yogurt. It's the perfect combination to have vanilla. It's not overpoweringly sweet, but still has a really nice flavor to it. And it just really goes well with everything because the granola is quite sweet. You have the natural sweetness of the fruit and it is just bomb. This is really good. For the granola fruit and yogurt bowl, it is $8.75. So up next is their Belgian waffle. I'm always a sucker for a good waffle. And um, it's actually kind of cheap, um, I guess, for just the waffle, but I added on um, some fruit for some extra and you get the whipped cream. They do give you a lot more fruit and they put it on the side. So this is what I put on there. Um, they actually gave a lot of fruit, so I don't need too much fruit. And we'll put some butter and uh, syrup on it and see how it tastes. They do give you two of this grassland fancy butter which is good, it's not margarine, it's real butter, and some, they say on their menu it's maple syrup, but it says maple flavored syrup. So it's not real maple syrup, but that's okay. All right, let's pour some syrup on this sucker and some butter. Yum. Light and fluffy, really soft, almost pillowy. Um, sometimes you get uh, Belgian waffles from somewhere and it's overcooked to the point where it's a little crispy. Some people like that, but this is pillowy soft goodness with the syrup and the butter and we'll just add more calories on there and put some whipped cream on. Why not? Mm. So good. I would suggest with the butter they're giving you, even though it seems like high quality real butter, 
it has a bit of saltiness to it so it kind of gave a little bit of a salty flavor to my waffle be sure to spread it on evenly because if you have a chunk of butter on it it's kind of salty so that's kind of weird but other than that it's delicious I don't really know what kind of flour they're using it doesn't appear to just be white flour it kind of has a weedy note to it which is good and um, I think that's what makes it a little bit special light fluffy but still has a little bit more flavor than just uh, white flour can't go wrong if you're a waffle lover and you like that pillowy softness this is for you yeah and that would go really great with a side of bacon or whatever your favorite breakfast meat is but um, that's on the side you only get the waffle when you order it so for that with the extra whipped cream and the fruit was eight dollars and 45 cents and again the fruits are all fresh and delicious and naturally sweet all right now on to our last dish and the one i'm most excited for it's their eggs benedict um, they have all kinds they even have a loco moco one they have a fish eggs benedict for those who don't eat meat but i got their corned beef hash eggs benedict and it's supposed to have their homemade corned beef hash and i can see that it is homemade just big chunks of corned beef and all of them come with uh, potatoes this is uh, the fried potatoes this is a half I'm not hungry obviously I have all these dishes to eat but if you're hungry you can get the full as well which is the two eggs Benedict but um, this, that's a good option that they give you a half choice for those that don't eat much so um, let's dig in you can see all the greasiness and all the bad things sitting on this corned beef hash and potatoes so good mm. I'm kind of torn here I'll be honest can you hear that crunching the potatoes are raw in the corned beef hash but man that corned beef hash meat is delicious wow it's uh, tender it's got that corned beef flavor it's not definitely not from a can but I wish the potatoes were cooked let's try the actual um, egg and English muffin perfectly cooked poached egg hmm the English muffins are um, nice and crunchy and toasted but the inside of the muffin obviously is soft and soaking up all that poached egg really good flavors going on it's seasoned perfectly let's try a little bit of the potatoes again on the inside hopefully they're cooked yeah they're all raw or semi-raw or not cooked unfortunately if it was cooked it would have been great because even the seasoning on the potatoes even though they're not cooked it's fabulous and it's soaking up all that corned beef juice I know they're in a ration stuff in the kitchen but I don't know maybe you would want to parboil the potato so you know that the insides cooked and then fry it when it's up for order so it gets that crusty outside but yeah it seems like they just cube some potatoes and they're totally raw and threw it on the grill for like a minute and it's even raw on the outside it's not even semi-cooked it's kind of weird so um that's kind of sad but i can't rave more about that corned beef i mean just look at this tender pieces of chunks of meat of real corned beef brisket really juicy and just falls apart in your mouth almost like a barbecue brisket but without the barbecue flavor it's just that kind of softness the egg was cooked perfectly perfectly the seasoning's great just that one little thing about the potatoes but if you don't like um eggs benedict they offer this corned beef with just your typical rice and eggs too so that sounds really good too all right lastly let's try this potato this is a uh side that they give you so these are different potatoes they look like they're chopped in uh, chunks with uh, some seasoning on it almost like a home fry mm. see those are cooked all the way and taste great the seasoning is really nice it literally just tastes like a 
a home fry like how it should taste with breakfast. But I don't understand why the other potatoes aren't cooked. Kind of weird. These potatoes are actually really good. If you can see all the crispy bits that are on there from the grill or the flat top. Really good. Soft on the inside and crispy and that nice seasoning on the outside. All right, if you're wondering what the price was for that half of the corned beef hash eggs benedict, that was $11.95. You can get the full, I believe that's, um, I might be wrong, but I think that's a little bit more at $16.95 or something like that. Like I said, they have other types of eggs benedict, such as their loco moco, their original one with the Canadian bacon. You can even get fish loco mocos if you're not into eating meat. And I enjoyed everything on that plate except for the raw potatoes. That's a bummer because I bet you if it was cooked all the way, everything would be perfect because the flavors were going on. Um, really, really good flavors, seasonings on point for the food. The only cons I have for it besides the um, uncooked potatoes and my eggs benedict was the parking's kind of nuts in there. I've never really been to that particular uh, shopping center. I don't really go to Mililani Malka. Um, not really in Mililani at all, but if I were to come here, it would be the bigger uh, town center shopping center. So it's a very tiny little um, strip mall and very little parking. And you've also got the Starbucks drive through line, which kind of messes up the traffic flow in there. And I went on a weekday uh, and it was still crowded in there. All the stalls were taken. Um, so I'm a rebel. I just parked by Long's. It's marked that you can't park there. It's only for Long's customers, but I don't care. So I don't know if you're not a rebel and you're going to follow the rules. Um, good luck with parking there. Um, you might have to park a little bit on the other side of the shopping center and walk to get your order or to dine in. Um, inside, I didn't get a chance to really film inside because it was so quick. I called it in and it was ready. Uh, they're all friendly, super, super friendly on the phone and in person. And the inside was totally packed full of people. So it is quite popular even on a weekday. Um, so I could only imagine what it's like on the weekend. Um, I'm sure there's a line to get in to eat in. Um, so I would suggest probably taking out and eating it at home because uh, you're probably going to be waiting for a table for a while if you're going out on the weekend. Um, other than that, everything was fabulous. I enjoyed the yogurt, the waffle, and my eggs benedict, sans the potatoes. But um, definitely give it a try. Thank you for uh, suggesting this restaurant to me. Um, I actually really did enjoy it. Um, besides the potatoes, like I said, it was just seasoned well. And for the sweet options, such as the yogurts and everything, it was all fresh and not too sweet but still enjoyable. So thank you for watching. If you like this, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again next week. Peace out, take care of each other, and aloha.